1982 Shirley Muldowney and her classic win over Conrad Coletta. It was her one and only U.S. Nationals victory, and one that she has never forgot to this day. And then in 1984, a classic pro stock matchup between Warren Johnson and Bob Glidden. But on this day, it was Warren Johnson who earned the first of his six U.S. Nationals trophies. Shirley Muldowney, an NHRA career, three times a top fuel champion, but she says that this win at this racetrack is still the most meaningful. And that's what it means to win the U.S. Nationals. And guess what? The legend Shirley Muldowney is on the property, and earlier this weekend, Paul Page caught up with her. You know, you really can't talk about this great event, the U.S. Nationals, without including somebody like Shirley Muldowney. We're talking three world titles and, of course, a historic win here at Indianapolis. Was that the big moment, Shirley? It was. I, I think it was a big moment, certainly for me, but it was a big mo moment for women in motorsports. No woman had ever won Indy before, and it was it was a very special race. No. We beat in the final, how we qualified, and it, it, it was it was perfect. We're looking at the race right now. Goodbye, Coletta. <laughs> And you're still feeling that way. Good. Every day. <laughs> well, you, you mentioned that you were kind of the, the pace setter for other women coming not just into drag racing, but into motorsports in general. Was that ever your intent, or were you just a racer? Paul, it really wasn't. It was, you know, I'd like to think I made it easier for a lot of young racers, both male and female, coming into the sport, but it gave the women the attitude, hey, right. I could do this too. You can too. get it done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you you still have the need for speed. She's got all kinds of projects oh. going right now. Tell us about some of them. Well, um, Doug Herbert has asked me to drive his land speed car on the salt flats when it's finished. No. We're looking. Oh, yes. And, no, that's a car right there. Uh, I see it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's what a wonderful vehicle that is. And he gave me the opportunity, and I'm going to jump at it so it's if you're interested it's lsr project on your on the internet and it's i'm gonna shoot for 450 to 500. are you really yes sir with my eyes closed and, and what is what is the women's record right now it's almost shameful but uh it's been sitting in the archives since the 60s actually 1964 i begged right. Art our, our farms to put me in the green monster he wasn't he didn't uh for unknown reasons but uh craig breedlove's wife went out who had never driven anything competitively right. and she ran 300 yeah. plus mile an hour well we've done that in the quarter mile so I'm gonna I'm gonna enter into that measured mile at at least 450 mile an hour what can you tell us about the car itself all I can tell you is that Ray Everett Ham, there you go a great great guy uh, and Pancho Weaver he's big in in uh, construction and fabrication in NASCAR and they have built the car for Doug Herbert and Doug is going to take the initial ride and uh, I welcome that yeah. and then he's going to turn it over to me and I'm going to go out there and get the job done. I always would rather have another test pilot. That's not the only thing you're doing though. Tell us about the rest. Well John Worm who owns Slingshot Dragsters. Uh, he builds nostalgia cars. He's built over 150 uh, to date and he has offered me a nostalgia funny car for the 2014 season and I want to run some NHRA national events. It probably be, will be against Bruce Larson. That's just one pick. And then I heard that Tom McEwen had some interest in maybe putting his car up against ours. So uh, they've given me that opportunity. I'm pretty well set that I made the deci decision that I want to do it. Well, we're looking right now at a lot of females in the sport. Good you know, Two in drivers. top fuel right off the top rookies. When you look at that whole group, of the females that are in the sport. Is there anyone that's another Shirley Muldowney? Oh, that's very easy. Erica Enders, you think? in my opinion, no doubt, has got all the right stuff. Cool. Well, she's in, of course, pro stock. Maybe we can get her nitro someday, too. Oh, I, if I had enough money to be a car owner. You'd do it. I'd put her in my car in a, in a heartbeat. Great. Shirley Muldowney, they don't come with a greater legend, a greater history, and oh. a gal who's done a lot Thank for this you, sport. Paul. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much.